Hey there, my rubber hearts. I'm Mari, and today we are bouncing into a fascinatingly flexible topic. We all know that the Netherlands are popular for tulip production, but did you know that the country also has a booming rubber industry? That's right, this tiny nation is stretching its way to the top of the rubber world, and I'm here to give you the lowdown on all things rubbery in the land of windmills and wooden shoes. Now, you might be thinking, Mari, you're pulling my leg, but I assure you, I'm not stretching the truth one bit. The Dutch rubber industry is as real as it gets and it's making waves across Europe and beyond. So let's dive in and explore this bouncy business that's keeping the Netherlands on its toes. First things first, let's talk about what the Dutch rubber industry actually produces. It's not just rubber ducks and bouncy balls, my friends. We're talking about a wide range of products that touch nearly every aspect of our lives. From the tires on your bike to the soles on your shoes, Dutch rubber is everywhere. The industry in the Netherlands covers everything from processing raw rubber to manufacturing finished products. Now let's break it down. For tires, companies like Apollo Vredestein are rolling out tires for cars, bicycles, and even those massive tractors you see in the countryside. For seals and gaskets, these might not sound exciting, but trust me, they're the unsung heroes keeping your car engine from leaking and your kitchen appliances running smoothly. The hoses, whether it's for your garden or a heavy-duty industrial setup, Dutch rubber hoses are flowing with quality. And as for conveyor belts, they are the backbone of manufacturing and logistics. These rubbery runways keep products moving in factories and warehouses. And as for anti-vibration parts, these nifty components help reduce noise and vibration in vehicles and machinery. So next time you're enjoying a smooth, quiet ride, you might have Dutch rubber to thank for. As for footwear, that's right, even the rubber in your shoe soles might have a touch of Dutch engineering. Now, let's talk about some of the big players in this bouncy business. Apollo Vredestein, based in Enschede, Apollo Vredestein, based in Enschede, is a tire-making powerhouse. They're not just about car tires. They've got rubber rolling for everything from slick sports cars to sturdy agricultural vehicles. Then we've got DSM Elastomers in Gelen. These folks are the wizards behind synthetic rubbers like EPDM. It might sound like alphabet soup, but EPDM, that's ethylene, propylene diene monomer for you science buffs is a super versatile rubber used in all sorts of applications. We can't forget about Asco Nobel. While they are primarily known for chemicals and paints, they've got their fingers in the rubber pie too, especially when it comes to coatings and specialty chemicals used in rubber production. And last but not least, they're Zeon Europe, a subsidiary of Zeon Corporation. These guys are all about specialty elastomers, pushing the boundaries of what rubber can do. Now, my rubber hearts, you might be wondering, Mari, that's all well and good, but what's the big deal? Well, let me tell you. The Dutch aren't just making rubber. They're exporting it like crazy. The Netherlands is a major player in the rubber export game, sending its bouncy goods all over Europe and beyond. Germany, France, and the UK are some of the top destinations for top Dutch rubber products. We're talking automotive components, industrial hoses and belts, and even consumer products like rubber footwear. The export volume is so substantial that it's making a real impact on the Dutch economy. Talk about putting the nether in the Netherlands. But wait, there's more. The Dutch aren't content with just making or selling rubber. Oh no, they're innovating and pushing for sustainability too. These rubber revolutionaries are developing eco-friendly materials, including biodegradable and recyclable rubber. They're also implementing advanced manufacturing techniques, using automation and digital technology to boost efficiency and reduce waste. And get this, they're even working on reducing their carbon footprint through energy efficient processes and renewable energy sources. It's not just hot air they're making real breakthroughs. We're talking bio-based rubber compounds and advanced recycling techniques to give new life to rubber waste. Who knew rubber could be so green? 
But the innovation doesn't stop there. The Netherlands is a hotbed of rubber research and development. You've got organizations like TNO, that's the Netherlands Organization for Applied Scientific Research, diving deep into material science, including rubber and elastomers. Universities are getting in on the action too. Places like Delft University of Technology and Eindhoven University of Technology are engaged in cutting edge research related to polymer science and engineering. And let's not forget the corporate world. Companies like DSM and Asco Nobel have their own research facilities focused on developing new materials and improving production processes. Current hot topics in rubber research include high-performance elastomers, recycling technologies, and sustainable production methods. It's like a rubber renaissance. Now, let's bounce over to the automotive sector. The Dutch rubber industry and the automotive world are like two peas in a pod, or should I say two wheels on a car. Dutch rubber finds its way into tires, both for new cars and replacements, seals and gaskets for engines and transmissions, anti-vibration parts to keep your ride smooth and quiet, and hoses for fuel, hydraulic and cooling systems. With Europe's strong automotive presence, there's a steady demand for Dutch rubber products. It's like a match made in automotive heaven. But it's not all fun and games in the world of rubber. The Dutch take their regulation seriously. The industry adheres to strict environmental and safety standards, both at the national level and in compliance with EU regulations. This ensures that the products coming out of the Netherlands are not only bouncy, but also safe and environmentally friendly. And let's not forget about jobs. The rubber and plastic sector is a significant employer in the Netherlands, offering roles in manufacturing, engineering, research and development. It's providing livelihoods and contributing to the country's economic stability. Talk about stretching the job market. Now, my rubber hearts. Let's map out this rubbery realm. The industry isn't concentrated in one area. It's spread out across the country. You've got Apollo Vredestein's tire plant in Enschede, DSM Belastomers focusing on synthetic rubber production in Gelen, and Rotterdam serving as a major logistics hub for importing raw materials and exporting finished products. The Dutch aren't keeping all this rubbery goodness to themselves. Oh no, they're sharing it with the world. Major export markets include Germany, France, the UK and Belgium. The Netherlands is truly bouncing its way across borders. Before we wrap up, let's highlight some of the coolest innovations coming out of the Dutch rubber scene. The SM Elastomers has developed bio-based EPDM rubber reducing reliance on fossil fuels. There, there are advanced recycling technologies that can turn old, worn-out tires into reusable materials. And let's not forget the high-performance elastomers that are pushing the boundaries of durability and heat resistance. So there you have it, my rubber hearts. The Netherlands isn't just about tulips and windmills. It's a rubber powerhouse stretching the limits of innovation, bouncing forward in sustainability, and rolling out quality products that touch our lives in ways we might not even realize. So next time you're cruising on your bike, driving your car, or even just walking in your comfy shoes, take a moment to appreciate the possibility that a little piece of Dutch engineering might be making your journey smoother. Until next time, this is Mari reminding you to stay flexible, bounce back from challenges, and always keep your heart as resilient as rubber. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in our next exploration of all things rubber.